On September 22, 2020, in a published article by Nathaniel Glacier, head of security policy at Facebook said, and we quote, We removed two separate networks for violating our policy against coordinated inauthentic behavior. One of these networks originated in China and the other in the Philippines. The network that originated from China, according to the article, consisted of 155 Facebook accounts, 11 pages, 9 groups, and 6 Instagram accounts, which had about 133,000 users following one or more of the pages and around 61,000 members in one or more of the groups, with about 150 users following one or more of the Instagram accounts, with advertising spending of about 60 US dollars paid for in Chinese Yuan. Meanwhile, the network that originated in the Philippines consisted of 57 Facebook accounts, 31 pages, and 20 Instagram accounts. And these accounts were removed by Facebook for violating the company's policy against foreign or government interference, which is coordinated inauthentic behavior on behalf of a foreign entity. These pages and accounts had an advertising spending amounting to around 1,100 US dollars paid for in Philippine pesos. Samples of the content posted by some of these pages and accounts can be found in the link at the end of this video. In response, Malacanang could only hope that Facebook would exercise prudence in its actions, especially when taking down of Facebook accounts is a matter that the government leaves to the quote-unquote sound judgment and discretion of Facebook, presidential spokesperson Harry Roque said. Quote-unquote, we hope the social media giant would exercise prudence in all its actions to remove any doubt of bias given its power, influence, and reach. We are one in advocating the truth and dismissing disinformation, lies, or hatred. The removal of the accounts, pages, and groups was based on, quote-unquote, the people behind this activity coordinated with one another and used fake accounts as a central part of their operations to mislead people about who they are and what they are doing, and that was the basis for our action. When we investigate and remove these operations, we focus on behavior rather than content, no matter who's behind them, what they post, or whether they're foreign or domestic," Nathaniel Glacier said.